My name is Charlotte Richardson Ka. I did two masks that are the spirit of Aunt Esther, who was a character in one of his, the uh, Gem of the Ocean, the play. Aunt Esther, she's indicative of the women, the spiritualist women that a lot of black communities had. And I remember as a child, I grew up in a town uh, that was called Crestus Terrace. Now this town was composed of people that came up from the South to get jobs. My father worked in a steel mill and my mother was a beautician. So they built this house that was right across the street from this woman by the name of Mother Dix. She always wore white, every day. And people would flow into her house for the numbers or for the fears of the heart or for, for, for inspiration, for spiritual guidance. And I was always fascinated by her and by the women that keep this tradition that started in Africa and kept it going in, in the South and, and North. So that was the, my inspiration. The energy of black life and black music, black art, was all encapsulated in the Hill District in a few blocks. People would come, the musicians would come and have this circuit from New York, Pittsburgh, Chicago. The Hill District was a multicultural place. Also had Jewish people, Italians, the Polish, everybody was at the, in the Hill District. His plays sort of bring forth that energy that because of the demolition of so many buildings, if it hadn't been August Wilson and Teeny Harris, I don't know what we would do. You know, we wouldn't have a good record of what happened in the Hill District. It would just be in people's minds, you know. The Hill District is very, very instrumental in my work, where I live. You know, it's just a, a very wonderful place. There's not that many black galleries. There. How often do you see black art in the museum? It's time, and I think now it seems a little better, but there's still much work to be done.